called Spade of Vengeance. Moose is eating a snack right now. And I'm back with another sponsor wig review. Today's video is brought to you by Halcyon Hair. And they were so kind enough to send me this frontal as well as three whole bundles to review for you guys today. So I will be showing you that in a second. First things first, what I have on my head right now is called the 13 by four parting space frontal bob 10 inch wig. I'll go into the details a little bit later, but first what you need to know is that this can be worn by itself, but it's technically not supposed to. That's why we have three of these bundles with us today. They are premium human hair and oh my gosh, they feel beautiful. They are so gorgeously soft. They don't have any scent to them like some of the human hair that I've been sent in the past. And I have three of them here in three different lengths. This one came with a 20 inch, a 22 inch, which is this one here, and a 24 inch. As I said before, this is the frontal bob wig in 10 inches. It's a little bit short for my style, but if you are into the bob wig style, this is a perfect cute human hair wig. Wait, hold on. Before I get into this cute little bob wig, I have to do my new subby shout out. Thank you, Styled by Kindle, for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And for those of you who have not subscribed yet, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below, and I will shout you out next time at the new subby shout out. So let's just jump right into it. As I said, this is the frontal bob wig in 10 inches. It is in the color 1B, but if you go closer into the hair, I'm not too sure if you could see it on camera right now, but in the bundles and the hair, you can definitely pick up some brown or reddish highlights, which are gorgeous. As for the cap construction, this is a 13 by four parting space, you guys. So you could see you can do whatever you want in terms of parting it as a side part, middle part, A, B, C, D, F, G part. <laughs> Girl, you have a lot of room to do whatever you want. I will kind of style this later because I'm not really feeling the straight out of a box style that she came in, but just messing around a little bit, I see she could be super cute. So yes, you do have that giant parting space to do whatever you please with. Another thing I love about the cap construction, this is a knit mesh cap construction. It's perfect because any way you style it up, down, all around town, you will not be able to see any wefts in between. So for example, if I styled my hair up like this or half up, half down, you can see as I get closer that there are no wefts visible. And that's just something that you know, girl, from watching my other videos, because I love when a mesh cap construction stops the hair from sliding through those wefts living in their DMs and hanging out in that wig cap. Another benefit that I had not mentioned in my other videos before is that when you have a mesh cap, it's so much easier to apply bundles if you want to sew them in. Also in the cap, this frontal comes with two combs at the front and one at the back. I will say, however, that the two combs in the front are positioned more towards the middle of my head and I am wearing a wig grip right now, so I didn't really get to clip those in. But if you don't wear a wig grip, then they should be totally fine. I did clip the comb into the back, however, and it is feeling secure. If you do end up putting these bundles in, you can do a ponytail style and you will be totally secure, girl. If that's not even enough, you also have adjustable straps at the back that you can tighten and loosen at your leisure. Is this wig big head friendly? To that I say, yes it is. There is a lot of space under this cap, guys. I have my hair up in braids under this wig and it's feeling snug enough to where it's not going to fall off, but it's still loose so that if I decided to put my hair up in a bun, it would fit under here still. When it comes to shedding and tangling, in terms of this bob, I got one or two hair at most after cutting off the lace. As I comb my fingers through this hair, I'm getting absolutely no tangling, um, no shedding right now, aside from those one or two hairs. Yeah, so like this 
for example, if you can see that. I just got one hair, you guys, after combing through the wig. In terms of these bundles, I am getting a little bit more shedding just because these are individual wefts and it's just, you know, you're gonna get a little bit more shedding when it comes to bundles. However, in terms of tangling, I'm getting nothing. It's so easy, you guys, to run your fingers through these bundles. I could do it all day. These things are soft, y'all. So for shedding and tangling, I would give two thumbs up. Now, moving on to the lace. For the positives for the lace, I will say that it doesn't feel itchy at all. This is an extremely soft lace, you guys. I barely feel it on my forehead, as opposed to other synthetic wigs that I have that just feel really itchy and it's just hard to wear them all day because it feels like sandpaper on your forehead. But this one is super soft. It's very blendable. You can see it looks like my scalp. Just going closer here, you could see how easily blendable it is to my own skin. One negative I would say is that this does require a little bit of plucking. It's a little bit of a tight part, but that's probably because there is a 13 by four parting space here. And it's not really guaranteed that you're gonna wear this wig as a center part anyway. But then again, you could easily just fix that by plucking it yourself. We interrupt this program for a style update where Red Remnants will be restyling this wig in the middle of the swipe review. Stop! So cute! So cute! Okay, y'all, jumping back into density, I would say that this hair is not the thinnest, but also not the thickest. Does that make any sense? It's somewhere in the middle. I would say it's thin enough to be able to wear comfortably in hot weather, but also thick enough to look natural. Again, this is only the frontal, so when you do add the bundles to it, it's going to increase in thickness. Jumping onto the hairline. Now, this is a positive that I have not noted for any other wig that I've ever purchased, ever. So that's kind of a big deal. So as you can see here, please note, <laughs> I did not glue her down, so just saying. But when you lift this up, you will see that the company tried to cut out sort of a natural looking hairline along the scalp. Props to them, guys. This looks really natural, especially if you glue it down, which I have not done yet, <laughs> but it's something you can do. And I would just suggest plucking a little bit more along that hairline to have it to your liking. But for me, I don't really wear my hair like that anyway, so just having it straight down would be totally fine for me. Now talking about the texture, I have already said that this hair is incredibly soft. It's pretty typical of human hair anyway, but I just wanna highlight that this is in fact 100% virgin hair, so it hasn't been dyed or processed, and you can definitely tell when you feel the texture. In terms of silkiness or yakky, this is definitely silky hair. So if that's something you're looking for in your bundles, you came to the right place. Given that it is human hair, y'all already know this is heat safe too. So if you did want to curl it or crimp it, wash it, blow dry it, whatever you want to do to it. I would personally keep this straight, but if you do want to curl it, that is something you can do. Okay, y'all, now I'm going to Okay, whoa, I can tell this is my first time having bundles ever. This is the 22 inch bundle fully stretched out you guys. And this is what she's hitting on. This is a dress. Please do not do that, okay. I feel like freaking Rapunzel here y'all. This is like a 22 inch wingspan I have here. So just in case you're wondering how much hair you're getting in your bundles. This is it, guys. I don't even know if you could fully see on camera. You can dance, you can jump. Okay, please don't copyright me for that. But anyway, this is the amount of hair you're getting in one bundle. I, I don't even know if you're gonna need all three, y'all, because this is a lot of hair. I think that's about it, y'all. I better stop before they come for me. Thank y'all for watching. I'm gonna show y'all the final looks in a few minutes. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will show you the final looks and try to put these bundles into the frontal and show y'all how that looks. 
but thank you so much for watching and thank you Halcyon Hair for sending me this amazing set. Please do not forget you guys to check the link below to purchase her. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye. Hey y'all, just gonna give you a quick 360 on this frontal unit. And without the headband, this is her front side, the other side, and the back. Okay. <laughs>